forward exposition on arising. So much with ignorance as condition, you say. Formations come to be. Right. With formations as condition. Consciousness comes to be. With consciousness as condition. Mentality, materiality come to be. With mentality, materiality as conditions. The sixfold base come to be. With the sixfold base as condition. Contact comes to be. With contact as condition. Feeling comes to be. With feeling as condition. Craving comes to be. With craving as condition. Clinging comes to be. With clinging as condition. Habitual tendencies come to be. With habitual tendencies as condition. Birth comes to be. With birth as condition. Aging and, and death, death, sorrow, sorrow lamentation, lamentation, pain, pain grief, grief, and, and despair, despair comes, comes to be. be. Such is the origin of this whole mass of suffering. Then we do reverse order questionnaire on the arising right after this. The Buddha says, with birth as condition, aging and death comes to be. So it was said, now monks, do aging and death have birth as condition or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Students say, aging and death, that's what you say. Aging, aging and, and death, death have birth, birth as condition, condition venerable, venerable sir. Thus we take it in this case, with birth as condition, aging and death comes to be. With habitual tendencies as condition, birth comes to be. So it was said, now monks, does birth have habitual tendencies as condition or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Birth has habitual tendencies as condition. Venerable Sir, thus we take it in this case, with habitual tendencies as condition, birth comes to be. With clinging as condition, habitual tendencies come to be. So it was said, now monks, does habitual tendencies have clinging as condition or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Habitual tendencies have clinging as condition. Venerable Sir, thus we take it in this case, with clinging as condition, habitual tendencies come to be. With craving as condition, clinging comes to be, so it was said. Now, monks, does the clinging have craving as condition or not, or how do you take it in this case? Clinging has craving as condition, Venerable Sir. Thus we take it in this case, with craving as condition, clinging comes to be. With feeling as condition, craving comes to be. So it was said, now monks, does craving have feeling as condition or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Craving has feeling as condition, venerable sir. Thus we take it in this case, with feeling as condition, craving comes to be. With contact as condition, feeling comes to be, so it was said. Now, monks, does feeling have contact as condition or not, or how do you take it in this case? Feeling has contact as condition, venerable sir. Thus we take it in this case. With contact, contact as condition, condition feeling comes to be. With the sixfold base as condition, contact comes to be. So it was said, now monks, does contact have the sixfold base as condition or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Contact has the sixfold base as condition, venerable sir. Thus we take it in this case. With the sixfold base as condition, contact comes to be. With mentality, materiality as condition, 
the sixfold base comes to be. So it was said, now monks, does the sixfold base have mentality materiality as condition or not? Or how do you take it in this sense? The sixfold base has mentality materiality as a condition, venerable sir. Thus we take it in this case with mentality materiality as a condition, the sixfold base comes to be. With consciousness as condition, mentality materiality comes to be. So it was said, now monks, does mentality materiality have consciousness as condition or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Mentality materiality as consciousness as condition, venerable sir, and thus we take it in this case. With, with consciousness, consciousness as condition, mentality materiality comes to be. With formations as condition, consciousness comes to be. So it was said, now monks, does consciousness have formations as condition or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Consciousness has formations as condition, venerable so. Thus we take it in this case. With formations as condition, consciousness comes to be. With ignorance as condition, formations come to be. So it was said, now monks, do the formations have ignorance as condition or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Formations have ignorance as condition. So we take it in this case. With ignorance as condition, formations come to be. And then the recapitulation on arising follows this directly. Good monks, so you say thus, and I also say thus. And when this exists, that comes to be. With the arising of this, that arises. That is, with ignorance as condition, Formations come to be. With formations as condition. Consciousness comes to be. With consciousness as condition. Mentality materiality comes to be. With mentality materiality as condition. The sixfold base comes to be. With the sixfold base as condition. Contact comes to be. With contact as condition. Feeling comes to be. With feeling as condition. Craving comes to be. With Craving as condition. Clinging comes to be. With clinging as condition. Habitual tendencies come to be. With habitual tendencies as condition. Birth comes to be. With birth as condition. Aging and death, death sorrow, lamentation, pain, pain grief, grief, and despair comes to, to be. be. Such is the origin of this whole mass of suffering. And then we do the forward exposition on cessation one more time. But with the remainderless fading away and cessation of ignorance. Now that's a conditional statement, isn't it? It's very clear, isn't it? Doesn't mean if you uh, stop having ignorance a few times, does it? So this is a tricky one. So somebody says, you know, they're the Arahat. You better be with them for a month or more. As supposed to be 30 days, they can hold their pattern of behavior. And after 30 days, you're going to see some funny things if it's not right, if it's not solid. So this is like the remainderless fading away. Nothing's left. And the cessation of ignorance comes the cessation of formations. Right? So I'll do it again. But with the remainderless fading away and cessation of ignorance comes the cessation of formations. With the cessation of formations comes the cessation of consciousness. With the cessation of consciousness comes the cessation of mentality materiality. With the cessation of mentality materiality comes the cessation of sixfold base. With the cessation of the sixfold base comes cessation of contact. With cessation of contact comes the cessation of feeling. With cessation of feeling comes cessation of craving. 
with cessation of craving comes cessation of clinging. With cessation of clinging comes cessation of habitual clinging. tendencies. With cessation of habitual tendencies comes cessation of birth. With the cessation of birth, aging, and death, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair cease. Such is the cessation of this whole mass of suffering. Reverse order questionnaire on the cessation. The Buddha says, with the cessation of birth comes the cessation of aging and death. So it was said, now monks, do aging and death cease with the cessation of birth or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Now, Aging and death ceases with the cessation of birth, Venerable Sir. How do we take it in this case? With the cessation of birth, the cessation of aging and death occurs. With the cessation of habitual tendencies comes the cessation of birth. So it was said, now monks, does birth cease? With the cessation of habitual tendencies or not, or how do you take it in this case? Birth ceases with the cessation of habitual tendencies, Venerable Sir. Thus we take it in this case, with the cessation of habitual tendencies, the cessation of birth occurs. With the cessation of clinging comes the cessation of habitual tendencies. So it was said, now monks do habitual tendencies cease with this cessation of clinging or not, or how do you take it in this case? Habitual tendencies cease with the cessation of clinging, Venerable Sir. Thus we take it in this case, with the cessation of clinging, the cessation of habitual tendencies occurs. With the cessation of craving comes the cessation of clinging. So it was said, now monks, does clinging cease? with the cessation of craving or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Clinging ceases with the cessation of craving, Venerable Sir. Thus, Thus we take it in this case, with the cessation of craving, the cessation of clinging occurs. With the cessation of feeling comes the cessation of craving. So it was said, now monks, does craving cease? With the cessation of feeling or not, or how do you take it in this case? Craving ceases with the cessation of feeling, Venerable Sir. Thus we take it in this case, with the cessation of feeling, the cessation of craving occurs. With the cessation of contact comes the cessation of feeling, so it was said. Now, monks, does feeling cease? With the cessation of contact or not, or how do you take it in this case? Feeling ceases with the cessation of contact, Venerable Sir. Thus we take it in this case. With the cessation of contact, the cessation of feeling occurs. With the cessation of sixfold base comes the cessation of contact. So it was said, now monks. Does contact cease with the cessation of the sixfold base or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Contact ceases with the cessation of the sixfold base, Venerable Sir. Thus we take it in this case with the cessation of sixfold base, the cessation of contact occurs. With the cessation of mentality materiality comes the cessation of the sixfold base. So it was said, now monks, does the sixfold base cease with the cessation of mentality materiality or not? Or how do you take it in this case? The sixfold base ceases with the cessation of mentality materiality, venerable sir. Thus we take it in this case with the cessation of mentality materiality, the cessation of the sixfold base occurs. With the cessation of consciousness comes the cessation of mentality materiality. So it was said, now monks, does mentality materiality cease 
with the cessation of consciousness or not, or how do you take it in this case? Mentality, materiality ceases with the cessation of consciousness, venerable sir. Thus we take it in this case, with the cessation of consciousness, the cessation of mentality, materiality costs. With the cessation of formations comes the cessation of consciousness. So it was said, now monks, does consciousness cease with the cessation of formations or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Consciousness ceases with the cessation of formations, Venerable Sir. Thus we take it in this case. With the cessation of formation, the cessation of consciousness occurs. With the cessation of ignorance comes the cessation of formations. So it was said, and now monks, do formations cease with the cessation of ignorance or not? Or how do you take it in this case? Formation cease with the cessation of ignorance, Venerable Sir. Thus we take it in this case. With the cessation of ignorance, the cessation of formations occurs. Now we do the recapitulation on cessation. Good monks, so you say thus and also I say thus. And when this does not exist, that does not come to be. With the cessation of this, that ceases. That is, the cessation of ignorance comes, the cessation of formations. formations. With the cessation of formations comes the cessation of consciousness. With the cessation of consciousness comes the cessation of mentality, materiality. With the cessation of mentality, materiality comes the cessation of the sixfold base. With the cessation of the sixfold base comes the cessation of contact with the cessation of contact comes the cessation of feeling with the cessation of feeling comes the cessation of craving with the cessation of craving comes the cessation of clinging with the cessation of clinging comes the cessation of habitual tendencies with the cessation of habitual tendencies comes the cessation of birth with the cessation of birth Aging, aging and death, death sorrow, sorrow, lamentation, pain, pain grief, and despair cease. Such is the cessation of this whole mass of suffering. 